Where's your father? My father. He went out not quite long. Did he tell you where he was going? Mom! Hmm? Don't you think you're in a better position to know the whereabouts of your husband more than me? Hmm? You're absolutely right, honey. Sorry for bothering you. Mom! Yes. Oh, you look so tensed. What is the problem? I look tensed? Yes! Mom, as the head princess, don't you think I should know what is eating you up? Yes. Yes, you're right. Um, but that's not what I want to deal with right now. I'll be inside. Mom? I could be the problem with my mom. Every time my father leaves the palace, she always feels so agitated. Onyeheze, there is something eating you up. You didn't come to my place this afternoon just to keep quiet. I am the Onohu of this kingdom. You and I have come a long way. Whatever the problem is, tell me. So we can find a way around it. No, you are right. Something is eating me up. Oh, no, I, I need a son. I need a son who can take over from me when I am no man. If we're going to go back to this topic, I would advise you to take whatever I always suggested to you. Take a second wife. Oh, you say this with so much ease and you forget that I have a wife a queen Ijelema of Akama what you are saying if I should do that is going to bring war in the palace I don't want to have a palace of war you know what I'm talking about it is better to be at war with a mere shy than to live in peace without one. Maybe you should know this. You're already at war in your house without a mere shy. Honestly, you have a point. And I understand what you are saying. That considering the people around me, Mainly my wife. I am not comfortable with the idea. I will be glad, Onyezi, if you listen to me. The life expectancy in the country is very low. Onyezi, have you bothered what will happen to your lineage? May God forbid, if you go to sleep this night and fail to wake up. You know what? I want you to just sit down, okay? And join me to enjoy yourself. I mean, you need to have fun, right? <laughs> you need to have fun. Sit down and drink. If, if you as well need a cigarette, I'm gonna give you just, okay, I just want you to have fun. <laughs> People, you disgrace our family each time you do this. I do? Of course. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Huh? <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. You don't know what? You don't know that you're royalty, that you should lead by example? And of course. Of course I am living by example, right? I am. Yes. Drinking away your life? Who gave away? Okay. 
you need to understand that I am an adult. And you should allow me to live as one. I mean, why are you always policing my life? I am an adult. Okay, but listen, nobody is policing your life. Yes, I can't dispute the fact that you're an adult. But if your character says otherwise, then we have to checkmate it. Um, I, I, I was having a good time b before you walked in. So I, I would suggest you just, you know, go back to wherever you're coming from, okay? Are you okay? I'm talking to you and you're saying rubbish. Can you just allow me live my life for once? I mean, I, I, I just, just want to have fun. Uh, you know. Mm. You want to have fun? Hold up. I just want to enjoy myself, okay? Just give me space, okay? And, and just... Let me... Oh! Can you imagine? Did you... Did, did you do did what? Just, what? What did you just do? You, 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 you just, just broke my... And what will you do? Oh my goodness! Okay, nothing, okay? But, but I need you. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh God. I am fine. <laughs> I, I, I need you to give, give me back. I that. Okay. <laughs> I won't. Give me back! And I'm saying I, I won't! What is wrong what with you? Will you? What is wrong with you? Yeah, but don't, don't, don't dare me. Bring it on! Yes, I said bring it on! What do you think you can do to me? Okay. I'll be back for you. J j just stay there. Stay right here. Do not go anywhere. Don't stay here. Osari! 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 Oh, hey. Hey. What is it? Father, father, father. Ocheze! Ocheze is looking for my trouble. Ocheze is looking for my trouble and I'm going to give her double of it. You need to warn her. What? Are you talking about Ocheze, my daughter? Yes! Ocheze, your daughter, the head princess. She is looking for my trouble, father. I am not going to be this lenient. Warn her, father. You, you, you just warn her! Are you sure you are still okay? As in, are you still normal? Of course! I am normal! I am okay! Father, I, I was just having fun and, and Ocheze, Ocheze came and interrupted my joy! She, she just what? interrupted me! What kind of fun were you having before Ocheze interrupted? Does it really matter? I mean, fun is fun! <laughs> All fun is fun. It doesn't really matter. Yes, father, but you need to want her. Want her to stay clear from my business. Want her, father. Want her. Hold it right there. Come back. Come back here. Fast. Can you define exactly the kind of fun you said you were having before O'Shea's interrupted? I want to hear you. <laughs> You know, I was just in my own world. And I, I, I was drinking and and, and smoking. I, I, was, I was just, I was just having fun. And oh, she just walked in and and she snatched the bottle away. She took my joy away. That got me peace. You are completely useless. That's why you will have the guts to come before me and you are vomiting this nonsense. Get out of my sight before I descend on you. Okay, fine. Moreover, I knew you were going to take sides. But won her. I mean, th th that really got me angry. She, she, she just came and uh, she took my joy away. Why? Ijama, my husband's recent behavior worries me. I 
I'm not sure of what it is, but then I am certain that he's hiding something from me, which is why he's avoiding to have conversation with me. Why do you like worrying yourself? Why? He's only trying to be a man. Besides, you don't expect him to always have you around him when he has a problem of the people to think about. Yes. If he demands to be alone, I'll advise you a lie. Are you sure you're right? I hope you're not sick. Come on. The person we're talking about here is my husband. I should I let him be. Him. And what is that supposed to mean? Now, why is it that? You don't like supporting me. Is it because he's your king? Listen, it's not because he's my king. Okay, you expect me to support you when you're doing the wrong thing. How? I can't, I can't do that. Listen, <laughs> being a wife to the king requires a lot of wisdom. I'm only being a good friend here. And as a good friend, I need to tell you the truth at all times. I'm sure my husband saw that I have wisdom, which is why I am the queen. Being worried about my husband doesn't mean I do not have wisdom. So excuse you, I'm not going to engage in this argument with you. Just tell me what you want to eat. Let me tell them to serve you. Uh -huh. This is what I've been expecting to hear. Not telling me this, uh, your husband is your suspecting this. Um, anyway, I need the heads of seven virgins. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a serious person. I'm not serious. Of course you're not. The only one who means the world to me. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? My princess, this is not how to welcome a friend. A friend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you call yourself a friend? <laughs> well, friend. I can only welcome you when you arrive on my invitation. I did not invite you here, obviously. But my princess, I called you several times to inform you that I was coming, but you never picked my calls. Why are you so senseless? I mean, that should have served as an indication that I do not want to see you. Why are you always treating me as if I mean nobody? As if I mean nothing to you? You mean nothing! Nothing to me! Uh, uh. Okay. C can you just go? Please. Can you explain to me why you always behaving like this? I, 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 I demand an explanation. Can you tell me why? You know... You, your skinny self, dated looking, ragged self, irritates me. It makes me want to cry. Each time I see you, 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 you irritate me so bad. And so I beg you, can you just, can you just leave? Leave. I, I, I clearly do not want to see you. Honestly, I... I I, 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 I don't just know why. Why are you always treating me like this? You, 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 you're breaking my heart each time you sound like this. My princess, can you give me a chance? Just hear me out. You see, that's hot. I wish I could just pull it out and squeeze it and drain every bit of love or likeness you have for me just so you could understand that I do not love you! I don't, I, 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 I don't even want to see you! Can you just go? 
Get out! Are you sure you don't want to take anything? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks. I will just go straight to the point. The king of Akama needs a male child who will take over after him when he joins his ancestors. No, why is that connected to me? I mean, the king has a queen who already gave him three beautiful daughters. Queen Jelema is still very young, and I'm sure if they try again, she can give him a son. Well, it's already confirmed that Queen Jelema cannot bear him a male child. I actually called you here because I find you worthy to be the median who will bear this male child for the king. I don't understand. There's nothing difficult to understand. I want you to get close to the king, get pregnant for the king, give him a male child, and you'll be married to the king. And you will be the queen mother of Akama because your son will be the next king of Akama kingdom. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I cannot do it. Queen Dilemma is a very powerful woman and I'm not ready to go to war with her. Well, Whatever power you think Ijelema has is derived from the king. If he can conceive and bear the king a male child, the king will make you more powerful than Queen Ijelema. Oh no, in as much as I am delighted to be considered by you for this mission. Honestly, I'm not comfortable with this idea. I don't, I don't think I can do it. Well, I don't expect you to be comfortable. Just go home, think about it, sleep over it, and get back to me, please. I don't know why I have analyzed it already. I, I cannot do it, I'm sorry. Jesus, tell them. I say, go home, sleep over it, and get back to me. Send no urgent need for a net to the throne For a net to the throne And it's a trying time for the king of the kingdom The king that of the kingdom So how is that for me? Just pop into a man bring that man And I want you to admit it So Me speaking my mind is now you call that being wrong? <laughs> I mean, so be it. <laughs> you know, I have a problem with you. And my problem is uh, that you don't agree to your wrongs. I want you to call him right away and apologize to him. Now, Never. What I don't understand is how you derive pleasure in insulting men. Why do you do that? Huh? But I, I did not insult him. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but clearly I did not. I, 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 I was only being expressive. Yes, right? Really? Uh -huh. You were only being expressive. 
Do you know, I, I, I think actually, if you do not want a man again, you should call him politely and talk about it so he could walk away. Instead of rendering abuses and an insult on him, that does not show character. That is your pattern. <laughs> Mine is different. Uh, I mean, different ladies with different styles, mm. right? <laughs> mm. For me, I, I believe in bringing insults and abuses on men. That way, they, they, they tend to get off my neck. They're like a hook, you know. Oh, it's just, just get him off <laughs> my neck. Get there. I am your elder sister. And as it stands now, I am more experienced than you are. I want you to stop whatever it is you're doing because you are wrong. You're wrong about it and you know it. Stop it. Okay. I will. Okay. I will stop. Uh, but first, you need to tell him to stop coming here. Uh, okay, okay. And, and, and then again... You, you, you need to talk to your elder sister to give me back my drink. She, she, she just came here. And, I, and, I, and she snatched the bottle away. And, and I can't even drink. I'm, I'm just starving. And I'm helpless. I, I don't know what to do. I, I don't even have money to purchase another one. That's the last one, and she took it away. And right now, I'm just smoking. I need something to go down with this. And I, I, I can't even find a drink. I can't even take anything. And I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy right now. I don't, 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 don't. Yeah, yeah, of course, you are really going crazy. Can you see yourself? Send no gent need for a net to the throne For a net to the throne And it's a trying time for the king of the kingdom The king of the kingdom So who is that woman who will bring forth the heir? So who will be the carrier of the incoming king? King is the spirit to have an air, to have an air. Mom. Mom. Mom, is everything okay? Ah, oh, sweetheart. Yeah. Why not? Mom, what is it? I just came out here to think I'm good. You're good. And you didn't even notice my presence? And today happens to be your birthday. The last time I checked, your birthdays are always top of discussion in this palace. What is it? Why did you cancel the plans of your birthday party? Your dad. My dad? He needs an heir to the throne. That thought alone is... It's really killing me. It's eating me up. But no, my dad is not bothered about all this. You might be right, yes. He's not bothered, of course. But have you ever thought of someone coming someday to corrupt his innocent mind? Come on, sweetheart, you should know African men. They are slow starters. But when they start, they will go to the S-trip. I wish, I wish I have the ability to stop this before it becomes too big. Um, mom, 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 look at me. Do me a favor. I want you to forget about all this. Remember, you are no longer that young lady you used to be. Mm? You are now a mother of three grown-up girls, right? And a queen of a kingdom. 
Just allow these things to go before high BP will, will come in. Please, mom. Hmm? You really need to take it easy, okay? You just have to. I wish I can, but I can't. Your sister is driving me crazy. She's making me lose my mind. I understand. We still have to take it easy. I've done everything. I've done everything within my power to make her know that I love her, but she's not seeing those things. <sighs> you know, she's the last daughter of the family. And I can tell you for real that she's still very much naive. Listen, I'll suggest you give her space so she can make the decision she wants in life. My princess, giving her space will only mean allowing her into the arms of another man. And when that happens, I might not survive it. I'm telling you. I know. But another way to show love is to let it go. If it comes back, then it was meant for you. If it doesn't, then it wasn't meant for you. So please, just give us space. You sound very intelligent. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm still pondering on what you just said. You should ponder more on it. Just think about it. Thank you for your words. You're welcome. Anytime. I should be on my way. Stay safe. For how long will you continue to do this? You know, why are you such a joy killer? And why do you have problem with the kind of life I live? You know, I won't let you get me upset. Uh -uh. I'm not in the mood for that. I just came here to tell you that Okie was here. Oh, that fool. Of course I know he was here. To fool himself as usual. Uh. Listen to me. That guy loves you. He means well for you. I'll advise you give him a chance. Give him a chance. Can you even hear yourself? That I should give a low life crackhead a chance into my life to ruin me. I thought you meant well for me. Sweetie, so listen, that guy I saw out there is not here for a relationship. He wants to marry you. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, you are cracking me up right now. <laughs> okay, please. How do you see me? Uh, you think I'm one of those ladies that are so desperate about marriage? No, come on. You're my sister. I expected better, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, I don't love him. Okay. I don't. Very well, if that is the case, why don't you call him and tell him that you're not interested in him anymore so he could go? Call him. 
you know, I really do not know why you have decided to give this matter so much, so much attention. But because of you, <laughs> because you are a good girl, right? I will do just that. Mm -hmm. I will call him <laughs> just because of you, okay? And if I do, and he disturbs me again, I am going to send him behind bars. None but ourselves can free your mind. Have no fear for the atomic energy. Cause none of them can stop the time. But you have to stop here. I need to continue driving myself from here now. Your Majesty, there is no way I can leave you alone here. In listen, this room. listen, it's not about leaving me alone. Just find a place, hang around. I want to take care of a business. Then I will call you, and together we can go back to the palace. Onyeze, please. Onyeze, there is no way I can leave my king like that, man. Uh, listen, uh, listen, let me let me just break it down. There is no danger. The issue is that there is a woman that I am beginning to see. Okay. A woman who is very dear to my heart. I am confiding in you because you are my right hand man. And I know you are not going to say this to anybody. Never. That is it. So I have an important appointment with her. And I don't want you to meet this woman yet. Okay. You will meet her eventually, but not yet. Okay. So find a place to hang around. Let me finish with her. I will call you. And then we can hook up again and go back to the palace. Okay? I will do that, my king. So, um, one of the maidens, um, said you wanted to see me, and here I am. <laughs> okay, tell me, what? You, you know, you, you make me shy when you stare at me like this, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Get down to business. Why do you want to see me? Okay, but I'm going to hit it straight. Listen, your action and behavior drag real house to the mud on a daily basis. Uh, okay, okay. <clears throat> uh, are you talking about me? I mean, having fun. Everybody knows I'm a happy girl. I, I, I just like to be happy. And yes, that explains why I drink. I, I just want to be happy. Could that be the reason? <laughs> okay, but I'm not, I'm not ready for this discussion right now. Okay, called <sighs> and told me how you treated him when he came here to see you. Okay, again. I'm beginning to think that boy is stupid. Yes, I mean, why is he acting like a kid? Why is he reporting me to everyone? Okay, but I am not everyone. I am your sister. 
And I think I fall in a category of people who should wade into matters like this. Okay. Curse. Kiru just called me moments ago to, to, to talk about the same matter. I don't know, but honestly, I do not want to have this conversation. For real. No. I think you having this discussion often will make you reason constructively. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, you know, I think I know exactly what to do. I, I, I know how best to handle this. Yes, but, but you need to trust me. Okay? You just need to trust me. Okay? Gibby, okay, has it ever occurred to you that okay loves you? Oh, please. Love my foot. I know how to end this, this whole shenanigans, this whole drama, this whole... Craziness, madness, whatever it is called. I know how best to handle him. Okay? What do you intend to do? <sighs> best not to me. <laughs> okay, but before you do anything rash, I want you to sit down, think very well about this before you cry out I know later. Cry? <laughs> I mean, what do you think of me? You think I'm that lame? Oh, come on. Never, never in this life like cry for any man. Not even for that scumbag. I, I can't. It's not possible. Okay? Well, it's fine. I think we're done with this discussion. Uh, thank you. You can go. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I was actually having fun at my usual spot before they told me that you wanted to see me. And then I, I just rushed to come see you. Okay, okay. Uh, you just sit tight. Okay. Bye. And um, listen, don't go drink uh, again. Okay, I got you, sis. I swear. <sighs> no wonder she doesn't really know what she wants. You're not looking happy. What is it? I'm fine. Okay, so may I know why you called and demanded to see me? Your Majesty. What is it? I am pregnant for you. What? And I've also gone ahead to ascertain that the, the pregnancy is a male child. Oh my goodness! Are you serious? This is the best news I've heard all my life. Really? Yes, I'm not. So, what next? No, I mean the plan. Um, I will have to think about it. I, I, I don't know what to do with it. So. No, no, no. There is nothing to think about. Because you are keeping this pregnancy. Oh, yes. Ha. Your Majesty, you sound as if you do not have a wife who is ready to kill me. Should she know that I am pregnant for the husband? She wants to listen to me. I am going to do everything possible to make sure that my wife will not get to hear about this pregnancy until this child is born. It is going to be a secret between you and I. Secret, you see? Yes. Your Majesty, <laughs> you sound as if you don't want me. It's just the baby you want. If not, why would you want to keep this whole thing a secret? Well, I don't know why you would say that. Of course, that's not the truth. 
see eh, to solve this problem that you have you know to douse this fear i am going to provide you a very comfortable place where you will stay without the prying eyes of people stay very comfortable until this baby is born how about that Majesty, I don't know what to say. I'll we'll just have to think about this whole thing. Please, I don't know. Whatever thing you're thinking must have to be in my favor, okay? I can't promise you if my decision will be in your favor or not. No, it is going to be in my favor because... Do you know how long I waited to have an heir? And now, finally, one is here. I am going to do everything possible to make sure you experience bliss all through this moment. Come here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this sounds well, but I know you are looking at it. Kichi, I am in a very tight corner right now. I need you to advise me. I, I am confused. Are you pregnant? Far from it. Did you kill someone? No. Then what is it? Oh no, who wants me to start seeing the king secretly? And he said if I can get pregnant for the king and give birth to a boy, that the king will marry me. Oh, this is serious. Well, for me, I I, I think you should take the offer. Nkechi? Yes! It is a life-changing offer. And if you're able to give the king a male child as demanded, trust me, you'll be more powerful than Queen Ijelema. Queens that give birth to her appearance to any kingdom are well respected and adored. But Queen Ijelema will come after me and I do not have the muscle to fight her. I know, but the king will protect you because nothing must happen to the mother of the next king. Listen, I'm not comfortable with all of this. Like I said, this is a life-changing offer. I advise you take it. I'm sure he did not come here today just to keep quiet. I have thought about your proposal and I have made up my mind to do it. Good girl. You made a decision of your life. That's a good decision. And you will never regret it. Thank you, Nuru. So how do we get started? I will speak with the king and get back to you before the weekend. Okay. Oh no, I need you to make me a promise. What is it? I need protection. Because I know the queen will come after me when she knows I am seeing the king. Consider it done. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, my daughter. I'll be on my way now. There's an urgent need for a net to the throne. For an heir to the throne And it's a trying time for the king of the kingdom the What king nonsense are you talking kingdom. about? What nonsense are you talking about? I don't love you I, I, I don't even want to be in a relationship with you Then you get it wrong again I don't want to date you, I don't want any relationship I want to marry you You, 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 you're a crackhead, right? But the fact still remains that I do not love you. I, I don't want to marry you. How best do you want me to explain that to you? My princess, you don't need to love me before it works. Alright? The love I have for you will be enough for both of us. Uh-huh. I knew it. <laughs> That's... You are thinking through your balls. Right? <laughs> okay, okay. Listen, I know you lack knowledge of what relationship is all about, but I mean, it takes two to tango, right? And we need to have a small 
or maybe a high degree of love for each other and which clearly I do not have for you so uh, we, we can't even be together uh, oh, oh, we can't um, on the contrary you are the one who does not know what is required to get married men those days they don't need to meet their wives before marrying them as a matter of fact most marriages happened on recommendation uh, even when the intending couples have not met. Okay. <laughs> this is where you're getting it all wrong. Just come ahead. This is 21st century. Okay? <laughs> you need to wake up. Okay? My princess, 21st century marriages collapse every day at the customary court. Even when they profess, confess the love they have for each other, it will still fail. You know, the whole, this whole thing you're saying is just sickening, okay? The fact still remains that I don't love you. I don't want to have anything to do with you. Please. That's final. So when you're done prophesying love, you can use the door. But I love you. Scumhead. head. Crack head. I don't know how else to talk her into marrying me. But as you can see, my sister does not love you. Yes. She said that to me. At least now you know where you stand. Of course I do. But no regrets. <laughs> well, if, if my sister does not love you, I think there is someone who loves and cares about you too. Someone? Mm -hmm. Who could that be? The lady standing in front of you. You? <laughs> Say, but, yeah, I, I love you, but That's I. What? Listen, my sister made it clear that she's not interested in you. Why don't we give you a try? How will you give me feel about this? Listen, my sister does not feel anything about you. And if you feel the same way about me, let's just give it a try. Yeah, she said that to me and asked me to leave the palace. You see, I don't think she's seen us together will make any meaning to her. I... I don't just want to cause problem between both of you. You are not causing any problem between us. Like I said, she says she's not interested in you, and I am. So forget about my sister and focus on me. Are you sure about it? 100%. She went do. Is actually pregnant for me, and it is a male child. This is a lie. I am telling you the truth. She told me herself. So the throne is about to have an heir. <laughs> exactly, you know. Uh, but there is a problem. What is it? She is still trying to decide if she is keeping the pregnancy or not. It's not her decision to make. She have to keep it. This pregnancy is not just any pregnancy. Mainly now that is a boy, so she have to keep it. Well, she told me herself that it is a boy. That's what she told me. At this point, she's trying to be a woman to know if you truly care about her or not. 
Well, uh, no, if I must tell you the truth, I do not absolutely care about her. And I cannot stand on the grave of my father and swear that I love her. I simply got involved with her because I needed a male child. And uh, that is what she's about to give me. So how she knows, that's why she's contemplating what to do with the pregnancy. See, Onyeze, you have to show her that you love her. You have to artificially give her whatever she asks for. I don't know why I am confused with your utterance. What do you mean by I should artificially give her what she asks for? What does that mean? Um, be real with your actions, but fake with your intention. I was heard you quarreling with OK through the window while I was having my bath. What happened? That foe is always getting on my nerve, and I don't like it. It was wrong of you to have addressed him that way. I mean, he doesn't deserve name calling. You know, seeing him alone gets me so, so upset. He irritates me. I, I, I don't just like seeing him around me. Okay. Did you tell him that you're not interested in getting married to him again? Yes. I did. <laughs> I did. I, I know you'll be very proud of me. I told him. I told him I don't like him. I don't even love him and I don't want to get married to him. I did. And what did he say? He said fine. He said he was never going to disturb me again. <laughs> and he will never come to this palace again. You know, I was very emphatic about my warning to him. <laughs> Obviously. Yes. I hope the one you're making all the sacrifices for is worth it. <laughs> oh no, there is an important angle that you have continued to ignore. My wife, the queen, Ijelema. What happens if she finds out about all this is along the line? Who is going to tell her? Oh no, we forget about who is going to tell her because I don't know. But let us assume that she finds out on her own. Eh, don't you think it is going to be a very big problem? So long as you don't tell her, the Chiwendo we know is not going to let the queen know. She will go an extra mile to protect the identity of the owner of the pregnancy. Even against her friends and family members. So your majesty, your secret is protected. Very secure. No, there is always something about you that they defies the spirit. I must have to say that I am glad having you as your new wolf account. <laughs> Do you want out with the king? Yes, my queen. So where is he? My queen. His royal majesty said that I should come back to the palace, that he wants to drive around the kingdom alone. I beg your pardon. I can't believe you stand before me to spill this nonsense. I'm sorry. The boy. king asked you to leave and you left. Is that it? My queen. I gave him reasons why I shouldn't leave. But so yeah, my What stupid and nonsense reasons could that be? Believe you mean you are the most useless and stupid human being I've ever seen. I'm sorry, 
Now here's what you're going to do. You are going to go back to the exact spot where you dropped my husband. Return him to me in this palace at once. My queen, I would have loved to go back to that place and bring him back. But the problem here is that he must have driven out of that place, so I don't know exactly where to locate his royal majesty. That means you will keep roaming around the entire kingdom like a zombie looking for one man. My king. And you will return him to me to this palace. You are not going to return to this palace without him. Francis, what you say? To the best of my knowledge, I noticed our case in this palace, and he is in your chamber. What is he doing there? Well, he is relaxing. Relaxing? As what? I don't understand. What exactly do you not understand? I just said he is relaxing. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chese, don't tell me you have an eye on okay. Because the last time I checked, he came for your kid sister, Ugebe. And so, what did Ugebe do? <sighs> What did she do? She was only trying to be a lady, a woman. Well, well, Mkiru, I don't know about her trying to be a lady, as you said. All I know is that she said she is not interested. She bluntly refused. So, what is that? Well, I mind you, she sent okay out of the palace. Please, please, excuse me, I'm not ready for this. Hey! Hey, oh no. Abomination, I want to give me no good out. Can you repeat what he just said? His royal majesty is missing. Impossible. The king cannot be missing. Oh, no, 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 He was with me minutes ago. What happened? Uh, 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 oh no. You mean his royal majesty was with you some minutes he was ago? with me minutes ago. He told me in confidence that he's going back to the palace. Yeah. In that case, let me call the palace and confirm. What's going on? But where have you been? Why are you both looking so agitated? What is wrong with you, sweetheart? What is it? I don't understand. Do you want to kill me? Where have you been? I mean, why would you leave every one of us in the dark? Why? I went for an important meeting. That even if you don't want to tell us your whereabouts, at least tell your wife. Can you imagine? Beautiful wife of mine, I'm so sorry about this, okay? I will make it up for you. This is a promise. Okay? Sorry. <laughs> You better start doing it right now. <laughs> of course. Can, you, can we just go? Please, stop looking this way. I hate to see you look this way. Okay? You just want to give me high blood pressure. No, you're not going to have any high blood pressure. <laughs> I still can't believe why you put up that attitude down there. It is clear that you are issued to say something. Can you please 
Lady Tarp. Okay. Something is bothering my husband. And he's not willing to let me in. That alone is killing me. Can you be lenient enough and agree with me when I say that I am fine? You are not fine to me. Something is really disturbing you. All I'm asking is just for you to let me in. That's all. There is nothing disturbing me. Honestly. You are not just my wife. You are my best friend. And if there is anything disturbing me, you will be the first person I will tell. Ah. That was before, not anymore. So, would you prefer I tell you a lie just to make you happy? That's not what I'm asking for, sweetheart. Then agree with me when I say that I am fine, because I am fine. All right, fine. I believe you. Thank you. Good. Because I am fine. You scared the hell out of me, sweetheart. How did I do that? By driving yourself around. That alone is very risky. And please, do not do it again. I promise, I will not do it again. Do you mind telling me where you went? It's a council of kings, the executive meeting. It was called and I went for the meeting. <laughs> and you never cared telling me about it? Oh, it's an emergency for the executive members of the council of kings. And once that call came, we followed it up at that level. You shouldn't misunderstand this. You know how these things work. Come on, come. Stop it. Stop it. Come here. Stop it. Why will I stop? Because you know that I cannot tell you a lie. Hmm. When you are telling me lies right before my eyes. No, no, no. You feel that I'm telling you a lie. But I cannot tell you a lie because I am king and you are my wife. <laughs> really you playing understand? politics and No, I am not I'm not playing politics. I'm just <laughs> I'm speaking from the depth of my heart. <laughs> Let it register. Deep down <laughs> down that this man does not tell a lie. <laughs> Your Majesty, I have thought about the pregnancy and I have decided to carry it, deliver it. Then after two years, I will hand the boy over to you and take a walk. Just like that? Yes, Your Majesty. I wouldn't want to interfere with your family affairs. How do you mean? Your Majesty, every other lady would have insisted that you marry her. Yes, and you, you wouldn't have any other choice than to do exactly what she wants because she has what you want. But I wouldn't want to do that to you, so I've decided to take a walk. She wonder you are a very nice person. You are, you are one of a kind. I mean, Women with your kind of heart and understanding are very rare. And that is why I'm asking you, what can I do for you to make you happy? Can you just tell me anything and consider it done? Your Majesty, you are a very good man. You have been very, very kind to me. So honestly, there is nothing I can ask you to do for me right now. She wonder, you need to understand the man you are dealing with. You are dealing with a king. Not just a king, you are dealing with a king of a thriving kingdom. And that king is the one who sits at the helm of affairs of Akama. Make the man of me and it will be done. Your Majesty, all right, if you insist. Nothing comes to mind right now, so I'll have to think and then get back to you. You know what? I will be waiting.
Yeah, you are. I see you're having fun. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> okay, a quick one. There is something I want to tell you, and it's very important. <laughs> you know, for the first time, Someone in this family walked up to me without getting to preach about smokers being liable to die young. Wow. Uh, that, that, that's impressive, right? <laughs> okay, okay, because of this, uh, I, I'll listen to you. What is it you want to discuss? I want it to be between us until it's confirmed. Okay, okay. I think your guy is seeing the head princess. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the head princess doesn't even know my guy. So what are you talking about? <laughs> Listen to me. Okay, okay. They're dating. They're very close. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, so, who exactly are you talking about? Okay. <sighs> you see, here I am thinking you want to talk about someone with true identity, but <laughs> you're really not making sense. <laughs> I don't understand. You don't have a problem with it? Of course I don't have a problem with it. Uh, okay, he's beneath my class. I, I don't even see myself tagging along with okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Someone your elder sister considers too good for her is beneath your class? What is even wrong with you? What does that girl know? My elder sister doesn't know anything. Listen, if my elder sister wants to be with him, then let them be. Okay? Let them be. Mm. Are you okay with it? Of course I'm okay with it. <laughs> I mean, I, you know me too well. I, I am not a joy killer. Okay? I, I'm a preacher of peace, a preacher of love. And moreover, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. I mean, mm -hmm. I can't put asunder for my sister. If my sister deems him fit, yeah, why not? They should be together, right? <laughs> I support them. <laughs> my sister wants to be with, okay? Let them be. Yes. <laughs> I can really see you don't like this guy. You hate him. No, 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 I, I don't hate him. I, I don't just see myself being with him. I, I, I can't marry him. Mm. That's it. I, I don't hate him. Well, he suits my sister. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. My bad. I am totally sorry. I shouldn't have brought this up. Uh, I give up. I, I pardon you. <laughs> Oh no, I spoke extensively with Shimon Do. She is going to be keeping the pregnancy. Did she give any conditions? She gave a very simple condition, very simple one. She's going to deliver the child, breastfeed the child. After winning the child, two years after, you know, she's going to hand over the child and walk away. And you believe her? I believe her, absolutely. Because uh, I like that condition. Uh, you know, she has actually solved the problem I have been anticipating. That's why I love the condition. There's a trick to that. How do you mean? She may run away with the child after delivery. And you know, there is nothing for a man 
who impregnates a woman without paying her bride price. Hey, you, know, you have a point. So what are you advising that we do? Marry her. I beg your pardon? I am what did you just say? Yes. That's a way to secure the boy. Even if she runs away with the child, the gods of our land will protect the son as their legitimate son. I don't know. No, I, I, I don't know why. I don't know why you always like to twist things. You're making this thing become so complex and complicated. Marrying this Shimwendu is going to create a problem, and you know it. Have a problem and get what you want, than live in peace without what you want. Which one do you prefer, Onyeze? Where are you? I am with the king. Pass the phone to him. Let me speak with him. Uh, my queen, I am sorry. His royal majesty is having a meeting with some people. He cannot talk to you right now. And what kind of meeting is that? Um, my queen, uh, His royal majesty will be the best person to answer that. Where is your location? I'm sorry, my queen. My king instructed me not to tell anyone his whereabouts. Did you realize that you have just insulted me? And you are not going to go scot free. Apologies, my queen. It's by you correcting what you just did now. By telling me where you people are. Else, you will face the consequences. My queen. Betraying the king. His royal majesty. Is as the same as betraying the masculine court of Akama kingdom. And it has serious consequences. Do you realize the person we're talking about here is my husband and not anyone else? My queen, apart from being your husband, His Royal Majesty is also the head of the masculine of Akama Kingdom. A man like me cannot betray him. Please. I see. So this is how you want it. So be it. God knows I hate this boy. He has been consumed by this so-called masquerade nonsense that no one else can get useful information from him. My husband, my husband is really drifting away from me. Now what do I do? Hey girl. Hi darling. You're welcome. Okay. You're looking beautiful. Like this? Yeah. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> so, um, yeah, babe. <clears throat> so how did it go with the king? It went well. Tell me about it. Okay, um, <clears throat> I told the king that I am going to carry this pregnancy to full term. Deliver the baby. Then when the baby is two years old, I'll hand the baby over to the king and take a walk. <laughs> take a walk. Is that all? Yes. And he's very excited. What is it? I want to confirm if you have fever. But it's very obvious that your temperature is normal. Mirabelle. What has fever got to do with this? A lot, my dear. Because it is only someone who acute fever has affected her brain that will make such suggestions to the king. Oh, please. Where is your brain? Calm down. I should calm down. Uh -huh. I'm calm. Oh, so, what happens next after handing the baby to the king? 
I said, calm down. I have my plans. Do you care to tell me? Okay, at the moment, the plans are so dear to my heart, so no letting out yet. But then, my good friend, it might interest you to know that the king promised to get me an apartment where I am going to stay till I deliver my baby. Wow. Mm -hmm. That sounds interesting. Yeah, baby. That's good news. Is. Good news. In Thank right. you. I trust your plans. <laughs> okay, the weather is scorching. I need ice cream. Ice cream. Bills on you. With this baby. I want that boy sacked. Why? Why not? He insulted me. How did he insult you? All right. I asked the young man to pass the phone to you so I could speak with you. He refused. I didn't ask him to release your location so I could come see you. He refused. Is that not an insult to my person? Well, my beautiful wife, I can tell you here and now that the young man was acting on my instruction. I beg your pardon? That's what it is. Oh! In other words, you're the one who told this young man to indirectly insult your wife. No, that's, I didn't tell him to, to insult Of course, that's what it played out! Well, I, I am sorry if that is the way you understood it. But there was never any intention to insult my beautiful wife. There is no way I will set out to insult my wife, and you know that. I'm sorry, honestly. Your Majesty, the only way I will accept this apology is by you sucking that boy, and you will do it right away. My queen, maybe I have to tell you this, because it is obvious you don't know. The ancestors of this kingdom will turn their backs at me if I do what you ask. Honestly. That's just the truth. You are scaring me. No, but that is just the truth. Now, what exactly does he do for you that some other guy cannot do? That is my question. My queen, we are talking about my most trusted God. He became that because his late father initiated him into the very organized masquerade court of Akama. Other gods did not experience that. Therefore, it is going to be an act of the king shooting himself in the leg, sucking somebody who is so connected with the ancestors of this land. I, I want you to understand that. There is more to this than the ordinary eyes can see. And I am determined to get to the root of it. My queen, I don't know what you are thinking. But it is very, very wrong for anybody to wage war with the one who is standing with the ancestors. All the people who tried that in the past. He did it anywhere. And I, I honestly wouldn't want you and I to have that experience. I did it. I was reliably informed that you are in a relationship with Ilodibe. My queen, it's not relationship. We are just close friends. All right, calm down. I am not against you having any relationship with him. After all, you've grown to the age of having a boyfriend. Okay, my queen, but we are not into that. We are just close friends. I need a favor from you. Say it, my queen. If it's what I can do, I will do it immediately. I need you to find out from Ilodibe where he normally goes with my husband. Okay, my queen, I will do it for you. Now you listen. If your information is useful, I will reward you with money. Huge amount of money. And I will elevate your position to the head maid of this palace. Okay, my queen. I promise to do my best. You can go. Thank you, my queen. I 
mean, I thought Elodie was in a relationship with this girl. I would have sacked him right away. <laughs> He's lucky. Elodie, I just finished having a meeting with the queen. She is asking that you be punished for disobeying her instructions. But I already made it clear to her that nothing will happen to you. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. But I need you to know something. The Queen can go to any extent to extract information from you. So I'm telling you that on no account must you allow any of the things you know already to be extracted from you. I will never betray the masculine call of Akama. For I understand what it means to be initiated into it. No secret will leak out of my mouth, Your Majesty. Good. You know, when I see young men like you who exhibit significant interest in our cultural heritage, it gives me great joy. I sincerely appreciate Your Majesty. <laughs> Good. You may leave now. Thank you so much. Sent for me. Do I need a prophet to tell me that you and my husband are up to something? My queen, nothing of such. If there is anything of importance, I will definitely tell you, my queen. You think you're very hard to break. I didn't say so, my queen. But that is what you are indirectly saying. Believe me when I tell you this. Soon, I will crack every living bone in your system right before your very eyes. Now get out. Continue. Get out! It's a trying time for the king of the kingdom, the king of the kingdom. So who is that woman who will bring forth the air? So who will be the carrier of the incoming king? Hey, the king is this man. This is your new home. So you will need to go and uh, get all the things you believe you need. You will continue to stay here until you are delivered of the baby. My home? Yes. For me? Absolutely. Oh my king, thank you. <laughs> this is awesome. You're welcome. I like, to, I, like, I like to see you do this, okay? <laughs> this is nice. Oh. I will forever love and cherish you, my king. Thank you. Thank you. Is that a promise? <gasps> it is not just a promise, but it's a promise from the depth of my heart. So if you can make me this kind of promise, why is it that since I asked you to mention what I can do for you that you have not said anything? Why? Your Majesty, that is because I... I, I don't want anything. I don't. Listen, I don't know why you are, you are saying this. Whatever thing you believe I have done for you is actually nothing compared to what I am intending or what I'm planning to do. That is why I want you. Can you just mention it? Can you just tell me what you want me to do for you? And consider it done. Your Majesty. That means I will have to think. Okay, I'll, I'll have to think of something that I, I want. Why is it taking you time to think of something that you can just say and it is done? Isn't it obvious, Your Majesty? Look at this place. You've done virtually everything for me. 
Do you need a car? No. You weaken me when you behave like this. <sighs> why, why won't you need a car? Okay, Your Majesty, you know what? I will think of something and I'll get back to you real soon, okay? You, you weaken me when you behave this way, honestly. <sighs> I it's, think I'm sorry. it's okay. Yes. I will be with it, but I, I can see you like the place. I love this place, Your Majesty. But I love you more. No, you don't say that. <laughs> I love you more. No, I love you more. I love you too. Okay. <laughs> you know what? What? Mm. I'm going to show you this. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I thought you said you're never going to come back to this palace again. I can't remember telling anyone that. So you're just going to lie to my face because you said that to me and I heard that loud and clear. <laughs> what I said was that I will never step my foot in this palace because of the princess called Ugewe. Ah! That was what I said and I mean it. <laughs> so, if you were not here to see me, I mean, who the fuck are you here to see then? <laughs> hey, hey, that's my baby. My love. My baby girl. Mm. Mm. How are you? I'm all right. How about you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. Has it been long you came? No, I just arrived. Oh, shall we? Sure. <laughs> my, my girl. My baby. <laughs> What the hell is going on here? With the current economic situation in this country, you have spent 350,000 naira in just one week? Are you sick in the head or something? Daddy, I really don't understand why you're being harsh right now. The same sad economic situation of this country is the same reason the money got finished. I mean, I can't even afford anything. 350,000 naira is just I, nothing. I understand. 